Here are 10 facts about Enrico Fermi. 1. Birth and early life. Born on September 29, 1901, in Rome, Italy, to Alberto Fermi and Ida de Gattis, he demonstrated an innate talent for mathematics and physics from a young age. His early education laid the foundation for his future achievements. At the age of 17, after skipping his third year of high school, Fermi entered the University of Pisa where he pursued his passion for physics. His doctoral thesis, completed when he was just 21, showcased his mathematical prowess and earned him his doctorate in physics. Enrico Fermi's doctoral thesis, completed in 1922 at the University of Pisa, focused on the theory of X-ray scattering in crystals. Titled, On the Differences Between the X-ray Spectrum of Elements and Atoms, his work explored the interactions between X-rays and atoms within crystals, shedding light on the behavior of X-ray wavelengths when they passed through various crystalline structures. This research laid the groundwork for his later achievements in nuclear physics and quantum mechanics, highlighting Fermi's early contributions to the scientific community. 2. Theorized the weak force. In 1933, Enrico Fermi made a groundbreaking contribution to the field of particle physics by introducing the concept of weak interactions, which were initially referred to as Fermi interactions. He suggested that during beta decay, a neutron can transform into a proton, an electron beta particle, and a neutrino. Fermi postulated that this process is mediated by a new kind of interaction, later coined the weak interaction, or weak force. This interaction was responsible for the transformation of a neutron into a proton by allowing the exchange of a virtual particle, later identified as a negative W and positive W boson. Fermi's work laid the groundwork for further research in particle physics and contributed significantly to our understanding of the fundamental forces that govern the universe. 3. Nobel Prize Fermi's innovative work on induced radioactivity led to his recognition with the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1938. His experiments involved bombarding elements with neutrons, which resulted in the creation of new, radioactive isotopes. This discovery was not only fundamental to nuclear physics but also had important applications in medical science, leading to the development of radioisotopes for various diagnostic and therapeutic purposes. The Nobel Prize not only acknowledged Fermi's contributions but also elevated his status as a leading physicist on the global stage. 4. A clandestine escape. As fascism gained strength in Italy, Enrico Fermi faced increasing challenges due to his wife Laura being Jewish and Mussolini introducing of the racial laws. In 1938, he made the decision to leave his homeland and emigrate to the United States. Fermi used his receiving of the Nobel Prize in Stockholm, Sweden on December 10, 1938, as his chance to take Laura and the two children, Giulio and Nella, out of Italy. They arrived in America on January 2, 1939. His emigration marked a turning point in his life, as he settled in the U.S. and continued his scientific pursuits. Fermi's decision to leave fascist Italy demonstrated his commitment to scientific freedom and his determination to contribute to science in a more conducive environment. 5. Theoretical and experimental prowess. Fermi's versatility and ability to excel as both a theoretical and experimental physicist was remarkable. He seamlessly transitioned between developing theoretical models and conducting groundbreaking experiments. This ability allowed him to bridge the gap between abstract concepts and real-world observations. Fermi's interdisciplinary approach made him a driving force in various fields, including nuclear physics, particle physics, and quantum mechanics. His combination of theoretical insight and experimental innovation set him apart as a truly exceptional scientist. 6. Chicago Pile 1 and Manhattan Project one of Fermi's most iconic achievements was leading the creation of the first controlled nuclear chain reaction at the University of Chicago's Chicago Pile 1 in 1942. Fermi led a team of scientists and engineers at the University of Chicago's Metallurgical Laboratory or MetLab where they successfully built and operated CP1 on December 2, 1942. 
This marked a crucial milestone in demonstrating the feasibility of controlled nuclear chain reactions, which is essential for producing nuclear energy and also for understanding the principles behind nuclear weapons. For the Manhattan Project, Fermi's primary focus at Los Alamos was theoretical and advisory and his expertise and guidance were instrumental in refining the understanding of the physics involved in atomic bomb design. His contributions, along with those of many other scientists and engineers at Los Alamos, were crucial in the successful development of the atomic bombs used during World War II. 7. Teaching Years Post-World War II After World War II, Enrico Fermi continued his academic career at the University of Chicago. As a professor, he played a significant role in shaping the next generation of physicists. His teaching style emphasized a deep understanding of fundamental concepts, problem-solving, and critical thinking. Fermi's mentorship and guidance influenced numerous physicists who went on to make substantial contributions to the field. A few of his noteworthy students are Murray Gell-Mann, noted for his classification of elementary particles and symmetries, winning the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1969. Jerome Friedman who was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1990 for his insights into atomic nuclei structure and the strong forces role within them. Owen Chamberlain who discovered the antiproton alongside Emilio Segre, receiving the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1959. 8. Fermi Paradox and Method The Fermi Paradox, named after Enrico Fermi, poses the question of why, given the high probability of extraterrestrial life in the universe, we have yet to encounter any evidence of advanced civilizations. This paradox highlights the mystery surrounding the existence of intelligent alien life. The Fermi Paradox is one example of the Fermi Method, a problem-solving approach that involves making rough estimates using simplified assumptions. This technique is a testament to Fermi's ability to distill complex problems into manageable components, showcasing his practical and analytical thinking. 9. Fermi Award In recognition of his profound impact on science, the U.S. Department of Energy established the Enrico Fermi Award in 1956. This prestigious award celebrates individuals who have made outstanding contributions to the fields of energy science and technology. Named in his honor, the award acknowledges Fermi's multifaceted legacy, spanning from nuclear physics to broader energy-related advancements. 10. Death Tragically, Enrico Fermi's life was cut short by stomach cancer. He passed away on November 28, 1954, at the age of 53. Despite his relatively brief life, Fermi's influence on physics, nuclear science, and scientific methodology remains enduring. His groundbreaking research, innovative problem-solving techniques, and contributions to nuclear energy continue to shape our understanding of the universe and impact scientific advancements to this day. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for more interesting facts about our world.